Hi there, coming to you from Lupine Gardens and Weber Soap Company. Going to go over our products that we have. We have pickled baby beets, nice and sweet, little beets. Got to have it, nice snack. We've got our bread and butter pickles. We have our loco cheese dip, which has a little bit of spicy kick to it. It's a salsa and cheese mixture. Our honey habanero barbecue sauce, which is sweet with a good amount of kick at the back end. So those of you that like a little bit of spice in your life, that's the route to go. We have our regular barbecue sauce that's more of a smoky flavor. Nice all around for different meats. We have our roasted garlic pasta sauce, which has a nice hint of garlic to it. It's a good all-around pasta sauce. You can use it on multiple different kind of meals. We have our portobello mushroom pasta sauce. For those of you that don't like mushrooms, you really can't taste the hint of mushroom in there, but it does have a unique flavor. We've got our apple cobbler. Exactly what it says, it's a dessert in a jar. We also have cherry cobbler, blackberry cobbler, we have blue blazes, which is a blueberry jalapeno jam. Nice sweet flavor with a little bit of heat on the back end of it. We have our pepper patch salsa which is a medium heat level restaurant style salsa. Good all around salsa for parties. We have our cherry salsa which is a nice sweet and mild salsa. So for those people that like a fruity flavor with a little sweetness and not too much heat that's a, a nice salsa to go with. We have our peach it's got that nice peach sweet flavor to it and it's got a little bit of heat on the back end, nothing serious. This is probably our number one seller out of our fruit salsas. We've got the mango salsa. It's kind of a unique flavor with the mangoes in there. It's still got that sweetness but it's a, a unique flavor. Hard to explain, kind of one of those you have to try it. Um, just a little bit of spice, nothing serious to that one. And then we have the cranberry salsa, which is also unique. Um, this is also made with Wisconsin grown cranberries. And it's got uh, a nice sweet flavor with a tart mixture in there. So you kind of get a, the best of both worlds. You get sweet and tart mixture together. And then we've got our hot pepper jelly. Basically what it says, you got some sweetness and it'll uh, it'll light you up. It's got some heat to it. Our red raspberry jam, this is a seedless jam, so for those that have issues with seeds, this is a good one to, to go with for the raspberry. Um, nice, sweet flavor. Good all around jam. We have our strawberry jam. We also have blueberry. Cinnamon pear, which is probably my favorite or top top two at least. And then strawberry rhubarb, which is probably my favorite. And I think that's about it. We've got our basil pasta sauce, our original basil pasta sauce. That's a probably my number one selling pasta sauce. Um, we've got our farm style mild salsa, our original farmer's market recipe. Um, then we have our original farm style cranberry salsa. That's the original cranberry that I ever made. And then I kind of went the other route with the other one and used the real fruit in it which this one just has the craisins in it but this is this is where the the idea was born and then we have our garlic dill pickles which are plenty garlicky so for those who love the garlic dill 
we've got some good ones. Then we've got our regular dills and some spicy dills. And that is about it. Thanks for taking time with us and stop on out and check our products out. Thanks for supporting the small business.